hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to Wheel Practice. And I'm using my BMW that I made in my car building tuning episode. So if you haven't seen my car building tuning episode where I make this car, uh, go check it out. The V8 absolutely screams. I just love the engine. And in terms of drifting, I was in kind of a mess about tandem lobby last night. And this car was performing absolutely amazing, to be honest. Uh, I was tandeming and to be honest I haven't really got the skills to tandem so this car is showing that it is stable it does have the relevant tyre spin it's got the perfect everything um, it was very nice to drift uh, obviously I made mistakes because I'm not the best but in terms of drifting this car was absolutely on point so yeah this will practice I'm just gonna try and just get more stable I guess uh, just keep practicing that's the only way you're gonna get better it's just practice so just hitting Silverstone oh my god I just didn't get enough then we made it around the corner though but yeah the V8 in this car oh my god I'm, I know like all the V8s um, swap all sound the same but when it's a BMW the V8 sounds perfection it just sounds like it's made for the car it's just insane I love it ah oh, shit I lost it Okay, I'm not being very smooth at the moment, but I'm making it around the corners pretty much every time. Which is all I'm really aiming for, to be honest. Just a little bit of consistency, just making it every time. I'm really happy with the progress I made on the wheel. Um, actually feels like a can drift. I went online into like a lobby, kind of... A, like a rear-wheel drive lobby. And I came second, which just really surprised me, because... Obviously couple of months ago I could not actually hold a drift on this then going to R Factor and coming back absolutely helped me um, it made me learn how to use the wheel because um, on R Factor it's a little bit more e exaggerated in the force feedback because the force feedback is a little bit better uh, you can let the wheel do most of the work and I brought that onto Forza I'm letting it do most of the work obviously on Forza I'm going to you have to put a little bit more effort in uh, but R Factor you can use let the wheel do most of it and I think that really helped me because I can let the wheel do most of my fours or five drifting uh, but in terms of when you're actually sideways it requires a lot more movement on the wheel but I guess I've got that down now uh, all I can work on now is just getting more stable more stable until the point where you can't get any more stable. <laughs> oh shit! I need to get that rear out a tiny bit more. Yeah, I'm really liking the way I'm drifting at the moment. It's really sick. And this car is really benefiting as well. car is really helping me because it's so stable so stable and the V8 is just a perfect engine to drift with so it's just all perfect with this car at the moment yeah buddy yeah to be honest, I think at the moment I could probably start doing Forza 5 drifting episodes. You know where I used to go into lobbies, just drift, and I didn't really care about coming first. So obviously I won't come first because I'm not the best with the wheel. But if you guys want to see um, Forza 5 drifting episodes, uh, where I go into lobbies and start start trying to drift for points, um, I don't really like points drifting. I prefer tandeming. But in terms of viewing quality, uh, drifting in points lobbies it's very very good so if you guys want to start seeing me jump into some lobbies 
do some lobby hopping, um, hit down some hit down some tracks, I guess, because watching me go backwards and forwards in Silverstone could be a little bit more uh, repetitive. So if you guys want to see me do that, um, I'm thinking about doing it myself. So if you guys want to see it on my channel, then feel free to leave a comment saying do Forza 5 Drifting, I guess. Too much troll, far too much. Held it though. There's one thing about this car, it just seems to come back from the dead. It's like, okay, that's too much angle. Oh god, yep. <laughs> it somehow come back. Don't know how, but it did. Struggled with the last corner then. Uh, the first one's pretty much perfect, but the second one, it was okay. But in terms of smoothness, it was a little bit, a little bit leave it. To be fair, a little bit leave it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't make my bed. <laughs> I just woke up. I was like, yep, let's make a video. Oh, stick to that inside. Love it. Ah, oh, too much angle. Kept it though. When I run that way, I like to stick to the inside on the first corner, and then second corner I have to push out wide. Uh, it just feels right. And this way, I like to go outside to the inside, to the inside. So, yeah, that made no sense. But you start on the outside, and you cut in, and touch the inner apex. Like that. But obviously, that wasn't really the best line to show that. But and then stick to the inside on this corner to the outside whoa that's nice like it I like it <laughs> it's nice okay let's go one more run let's just see how this goes because I've been drifting perfect Yeah, buddy, we got that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, give some feedback if you want to see me um, going to Forza Five drift lobbies. Um, see if leave a comment if you want to see me do like tandem stuff like that. If you want me to record when I go into a lobby for a mess about or something like that, that'd be something different for my channel, I guess. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.